Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari, James Allen reveals chances of stunning F1 move, exclusive is targeting his sixth F1 World Drivers' Championship title in 2019 and the Englishman has won all of his previous five titles either with Mercedes or in a Mercedes-powered car. Despite his loyalty to the manufacturer, rumors of a sensational move to Ferrari have excited fans in recent years, with the Italians looking to once again dominate F1. However, F1 expert and former BBC and ITV commentator James Allen has revealed that he can't see the move ever happening. I can't see that, Hamilton to Ferrari. His entire Formula One career has been either at Mercedes or powered by a Mercedes engine at McLaren, I don't see that, Allen exclusively told Express Sport. It's a bit like Steven Gerrard playing their whole career at one club and I know Jose Mourinho tried to get him at Chelsea. But when you get toward the end of your career, you think, is it worth it? The five-time world champion is now just two titles away from matching Michael Schumacher's record of seven triumphs. Despite that, Hamilton is rumored to be contemplating retirement when his Mercedes contract runs out at the end of the 2020 season which leaves him no room for error if he is to match Schumacher without signing a new deal. Allen, who is now president of Motorsport Network, believes that at the very least, Hamilton will stay in F1 until after the 2020 season. With four-time champion Sebastian Vettel and promising youngster Charles Leclerc at Ferrari, Allen is confident that the title race will be hotly contested this term. Another interesting development for the new season is the addition of a new rule, that will see an extra point given to the driver in the top 10 who scores the fastest lap in any race. It's 21 extra points, Hamilton said on the new rule. It'll be exciting to see how people try and get those points. Renault Daniel Ricciardo is also positive of the updated format, and considered its implications on the title race. It's good that they've just restricted it to the top 10, he said. That means you've got something a little bit extra to aim for if you're going into the pits for a set of tires to get fastest lap. I don't think it will decide a championship, but it could do, I guess. James Allen spoke to Express Sport in his role as president of, the destination for millions of cars and racing fans. Next news Sebastian Vettel, Ferrari F1 driver reveals secret ahead of Bahrain Grand Prix. Vettel is in Sakhir this weekend as he looks to get his F1 title challenge on track with a new season in its infancy. The Ferrari star suffered an underwhelming couple of hours last time out, finishing down in fourth at the Australian Grand Prix. But he can take heart from the fact his record in Bahrain is better than any other driver since the race first took place in 2004. Has come out on top there for the past two years, adding to the wins he secured with Red Bull in 2012 and 2013. And he will be looking to replicate those victories to close the gap on Valtteri Bottas and at the top of the standings. Vettel was asked about the secret of his motivation when it comes to taking part in the and he revealed the silverware on offer and Sakura is what ensures he is on form when it comes to race day. I love the trophy, I think it is the best trophy, seriously, Vettel said. It is heavy and the way it should be. It is nice and silver, it doesn't have to be, but it is nice that it is big and heavy. Vettel is racing alongside Charles Leclerc this season after Ferrari let Kimi Raikkonen go. Leclerc insists Ferrari have got the design of their SF90 car right, despite their struggles in Melbourne. I think the mentality is the right one and we need to keep this one throughout the whole year, the mentality is very positive, Leclerc said. Obviously we are aware there is a lot of work to do, but I'm pretty confident, as I said, in the team that they will do everything to improve the car. 
I don't think there's any fundamental issues in the car concept, I'm pretty confident in that too. It's just about fine tuning. As I said before, I don't think it's the real performance of the car what we have shown in Australia and I think we are all quite confident that we can be better already from here in Bahrain. Practice for the Bahrain Grand Prix starts on Friday, with qualifying on Saturday and the race itself on Sunday. Next news F1 News, Ferrari ace Charles Leclerc reveals verdict on three Bahrain Grand Prix DRS zones. Ferrari will be attempting to get their title bid on track this weekend having endured a disappointing race in Australia last time out. Their main man came home in fourth in Melbourne, with Leclerc similarly well off the pace Mercedes set. Ferrari have, however, got a decent record to look back on in Bahrain having seen Vettel come out on top there for the past two years. And Leclerc is hoping to benefit from the advantages the Sacker circuit offers, 3 DRS zones. You can afford to drop back in the standing for an extra stop and have the chance to overtake after again easier, said Leclerc. Already in the past I think it was quite an easy track to overtake on with two DRS zones, so with one more it can only be easier. DRS zones allow for easier overtaking as drivers can make use of adjustable bodywork to reduce aerodynamic drag. In, the adjustable bodywork is part of the rear wing of the car and it alters the flow of air over the car. We'll be seeking to make the most of the three DRS zones on Sunday when the Bahrain Grand Prix takes place. Former Benetton and Renault chief Flavio Briator, though, is not expecting Ferrari to provide much of a threat to reigning champions Mercedes this year. It will be very hard for them, Briator said, when asked about Ferrari's chances of success in 2019. Nothing has changed since last year. They had three months of winter to prepare the cars and Ferrari did not even close the gap to Mercedes. With Mercedes so strong, the only competition is between Hamilton and Bottas. To beat them, Ferrari needs to recover a nine-tenths. I say Mercedes will continue to dominate. Ferrari's Vettel and Leclerc are currently fourth and fifth respectively in the World Drivers' Championship standings. The prancing horse are second to Mercedes in the World Constructors Championship table, with 22 points compared to the Silver Arrows 44. Next news, Max Verstappen, Red Bull find problem with F1 Aces car two days before Bahrain Grand Prix. Verstappen is looking to build on a promising campaign opening race in Australia as he competes in Sakura this week. And on Friday morning he was waiting to take part in the P1 practice session so he could reacquaint himself with the Bahrain circuit. However, Red Bull engineers discovered an issue with the RB15 wheel drive as he looks to get the better of Lewis Hamilton and co. Sky Sports F1 pundit Karun Chanhok revealed details of the fault after spending some time down at the Red Bull garage. Verstappen is, putting his helmet on at the moment. They discovered a hydraulic leak in the power steering system so they're having to pressurize the system again for Max's car, Chantok said. So, not a great start for him or the team. He won't be too concerned about missing the first few minutes of this session, obviously, but it's less than ideal. Red Bull quickly dealt with the problem, which they'll be sure to keep a close eye on over the weekend. And Verstappen was able to join his rivals on track as they prepare for the second race of the 2019 season. Verstappen has been joined by at Red Bull this year following Daniel Ricciardo's departure for Renault. Chantok spotted a difference between the cars Verstappen and Gasly will be driving in Bahrain. One thing I've noticed while hanging around Red Bull is they're running two different rear wings, Chantok added. Max's car has got a higher downforce rear wing. You can see the angle of it. 
you can see the angle has got much more than the other car, 4, Pierre Gasly. Gasly's car is running a lower downforce configuration. They're running a lot of strain gauges on the car, collecting, aerodynamic, date. Of course, at this early stage of the weekend where the track temperatures are still a little bit too high to be relevant to qualifying in the race. Verstappen is currently third in the World Drivers Championship standings following his podium finish in Melbourne two weeks ago. He will be desperate to build on that result as he attempts to make good on the promise which has seen him earmarked as a future title winner. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.